Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we got a large quiver, and we opened up Malamark in Castletown. Uh, last time, I actually said that I didn't have enough rupees to buy the magic armor, but there are just two locations to go to to get exactly how many rupees I need which is 300 rupees, so that's rather perfect, actually. First, however, there is a uh, warrior link that I have not gotten. One other thing to note, whenever you see these uh, ravens flying about like this, uh, I don't know what their Legend of Zelda name is, unfortunately. Whenever you kill all of them, you get a bunch of rupees. They respawn, and you can get more rupees. They respawn, and you can eat, so on and so forth. You can get lots and lots of rupees that way. As we can see, he has finally opened up this air. Open, open up, opened up this route. Oh. Hey, look, brother. The way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you are heading, but be careful. So, yeah, that's awesome. One thing I will also notice... Uh, Tell you, look for like circles in the grass or strange things. I don't want to deal with you. Or things just like that because there might be something for Wolf Link to um, sense out. Sense out? Something. I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, new ability. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? Very well. But we but before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the backslice. Now then, come at me. <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha backside. Excellent. It appears you are performing capable. Performing capable? Really? I got dyslexic there. Certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is... The Helm Spitter. Sp sp spitter. I am royally messing up today. The Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. It is impossible to circle around and perform a back slice against a fully armored foe that, that moves swiftly in combat. I messed that sentence all up. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, and then quickly press A. You will leap into the air with, above over your enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking from behind. This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Okay. Let's see if I can remember the shield bash, which I never... Did I not? Okay. There we go. I don't know what happened. That was weird. Hmm. Impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a Helm Splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the Helm Splitter, has been passed on. <laughs> there are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time, and the time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. However, I said that there were some rupee locations, so let's transform into Wolf Link because we move a little bit faster than Epona. I'll just double check. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
because this leads exactly where I want. So, may as well show it. Now, one thing that I did say while I was getting the large quiver is that I thought I would mess up. Um, mainly because all it really takes is a few minor mistakes to um, fail that little mini game. And I thought, you know, I typically mess up at least the first time. Don't know why, but I typically do. Okay, what's following me? Are you going to give up? Okay, that's fine. Um, where do I need to aim? Right here. And this is the first chest with 100 rupees. Well, I say first chest. And warp to Kakariko is where we want to go. Because there is a very, very special prize here. And this will allow us to acquire the magic armor with exactly what we have. So, head over here. Where are you? Yeah, I thought that would get you. Now, let's see. A silver rupee worth 200. So yeah, that is exactly the way we wanted to come here, is to get that. And listen to that lovely counter go up and up. One more warp. Yes, we're going to cast it down. Because Mallow Mart is now 24-7. If I remember correctly. Watch me be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 24 7. Transform back into human because we cannot transform once we're in the city without finding a hidey hole, and that's annoying. So, if we remember correctly, the magic armor was 500. Yeah, what was it? 585? So, we'll have 10 rupees left over. I'm going to want some more rupees uh, for something. I think. Well, I'm doing a bunch of collecting at this point anyway, so stuff will happen. And Malamart is indeed open, so it, it is 24-7. Good. And yeah. So now we can buy... No, we can't. I thought it was... Divisible by five. It is not. Oh, lovely. Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. Quick way to get some rupees. Quick way to get some rupees. You know what? There's actually... Yeah, I'm, I'm going back and forth. I'm sorry. There's actually something... West Hyrule Field. That I'll, that'll give us a chance to get some rupees by killing some enemies. And there is that... Is that, um... Boulder... Along the one path yet to destroy. And that may... That will definitely give some rupees as well, so... Yeah. We'll, we'll have some rupees left over, at least. Okay. I want to go fast. Uh, yeah. The place where we got 
a bug previously. Okay, you're not following me, good. We can now go up here, and there is actually a reason to go up there. Yeah, we didn't need to actually travel up here to see the bug, but if we go over here, there is a circle of rocks. Let's go ahead and... I missed. Let's go ahead and go down here. Because there will be... Okay. A need to move quickly. I thought this was a different one. I'll admit, I thought this was the one... I thought this had locked or locked. Okay. Okay, so that went quite well. But this will give us a somewhat worthwhile reward. It, it goes in the description, at least, I suppose. It is a stamp. Angry Link. Yeah, that, look, that looks impressive. Okay, so we have some... Uh, pots. Okay, we have exactly enough rupees now. Uh, and we have... We will have one spare rupee. Yes, it is impressive. So now we go back to Castletown in the impressive speed of Wolf Link. I'm trying to think in what order I want to do the rest of the stuff. I'm not going to get to... There's quite a few things open to us to do before we get to the next bit of story. And I do want to complete quite a bit of it because the rewards are very, very decent for several of them. As we can tell by the fact that we've already doubled the amount of arrows that we can carry. There are decent rewards for doing things. Okay, back in here. This should be the last time. And we are now going to buy the magic armor. You bought it. You are smart. You bought it at Malomart. Wear it and, you, and your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you, so if you get hit, you lose rupees, not health. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant and your movement will be impaired. And by impaired, he means as if you were wearing iron boots. Um, it drains... Oh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's at a rate of one rupee per second. And... 10 rupees per hit, but, uh, da -da 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 -da. magical armor, and it already drained the last rupee, and we're moving like we're in iron boots, so yeah, it's kind of, kind of pointless, um, back out to Hyrule Field, uh, da -da 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 -da. Actually, actually, no, I'm not going to start in Hyrule Field. I'm going to start in um, Ordon, because there is one thing to get there. So, in Ordon, 
there is one more prize to get. Um, it is at the ranch where we herd goats. Yes, we have to go there again, but thankfully we do not need to herd goats anymore. Oh, good, okay. Uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> a little bit of a camera mishap, I suppose. Now, oh, fortunate. Oh, there's 10 rupees right up there. 10? No. Yes. Orange is 10. Not an orange. Um, whatever color that is. We can't do this? Okay, it has to be daylight. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, well, I will show that. Wait, is it almost daylight? No, it is not. So let's actually go to... I want to say here, but uh, I'm going to make sure, so jump cut right here just so that we're not wasting too much time now while i was out comparing something uh it became daylight so let's go in here um near the postman there is this little dig hole that you can get into to get Surrounded by rats. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Want to save that shoe. No, 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 no. Save that. Save it. Um. No, 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 no. Save it. Save it. <laughs> There's a reason I'm saving it. Um. Okay. That appears occasionally, and... It is... Whoa, 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 okay, good. Rare Chew Jelly. It replenishes all life energy and for a short while boosts your attack strength. It is exactly like the Tears of the Goddess. So, yeah, that is very much worth it. And, yeah, there's plenty of rupees down here. Link destroying pots. Uh, what we need now, however, is our lantern oil, because there is a reward down here. Ah, uh, there should be... And this will get us another stamp for our collection. The Happy Link. So yeah, I'm going to cut again so that we can get the last secret of this episode. While I completely waste time destroying bots. Pardon me. Whoa. final thing that we are looking for today is in the South Hyrule Field. Yeah, we're visiting this area quite a few times today. It's going to be right over here. It should be... Yep. Not what I meant to do, but whatever. Right here. Oh, just some keys to fend it. Oh, and... And red shoes. But we have something much more valuable than red chew jelly. We have rare chew jelly. And this will get us our final stamp of the evening. The Wolf Link Stamp. So, yeah, a few more things to kill down here, but for the time being... Oh, uh, and a chest, because why not? These are usually just small rupees, like... Um, 10 or 20 rupees, sometimes smaller, but that's kind of the point, I suppose. Regardless, 
Wow, that rat, rat actually got me. For the time being, this is Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.